Let's find out how the new Jeep Wrangler two-door handles in the wind. Mother Nature has given us a very windy day. Wind gusts up to, I believe it's 55 or 65 miles an hour. So I can't think of a better time to see how the Wrangler handles than today. All right, let's go. The wind's blowing like mad. We're gonna do it right from a startup out of the garage. So let's kick it on. Probably gonna have to mute the radio, I'm sure. We usually have that blasting. Let's see, we'll just do that. We're muted. All right, let's pull out, see if we feel any buffeting. As soon as we bounce out of the garage, uh, my garage door was feeling it, I can tell you that. I always worry about putting the garage door up uh, or down when it's this kind of wind outside. So let's see if I hit anything right away. Sitting here as I'm blowing, now I'm protected here a bit, so it's not horrible, but not too bad. I don't feel any of this going on. Let's get on the road. stuff blowing around we've got like prairie grass here I guess because really I mean we're in the valley this is the RGV uh, but there's a lot of prairie grass and stuff growing where it's not taken care of you know uh, I gotta say it's not too bad I mean I am having to pay more attention to the steering wheel to keep you know pointed in the right direction and I do get quite a bit of noise in here right now we're on a pretty rough road so that's not the wind it's the crappy road I'm on it's gonna go away right now so this is much better uh, I can feel some shifting right now the wind is blowing almost right into us on the side it's kind of kind of changing I'll be quiet you can hear it I mean it's not horrible you know, if we had like hurricane winds, which we get here because we get hurricanes, uh, it would be much worse. And I've been through that. I think uh, 95 mile an hour winds, something like that, uh, a couple years ago. That was uh, pretty wild. But this isn't too bad. The Jeep, you know, as long as you pay attention uh, and you hold on to the steering wheel and make corrections as you're going, it's not too bad. You know, really, this is kind of directed at people who have there's a good gust. People who have not had Jeep Wranglers before, particularly the two-door, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, the four-door would be just as bad. It's a bigger rectangle on wheels, but it's still going to catch all the wind and pop you around a little bit while you're out. Now, if you don't get winds like this, you know, we get them, I won't say regularly, but regularly enough uh, that you remember the last one, you know. But where this really comes into play is if you're in a thunderstorm. You know, thunderstorm winds anymore, man, can be anywhere from a low, which is unusual, I'd say, these days, of about 30 miles an hour on up to as high. I think I've seen 70 to 80 mile an hour thunderstorm winds. Of course, you get much more than that, and you're looking at uh, wind shear and tornadoes and all that kind of stuff. A long time ago, actually when we lived in Ohio we had what I believe to be was a microburst and that's where a thunderstorm collapses hits the ground and all the wind goes out I was not home my wife was she was outside and saw all this this black wall coming at her and what that was was rain and dust and dirt and then it hit the house it hit the property we had some old big trees there and I think I had something like eight to ten trees that it just toppled over 
And the reason I say it was a microburst is because all of those trees fell the same way. They were all laying the same way. Don't believe it was a tornado because there really wasn't any twisting to it. It was just knocked over from that microburst. That must have been a pretty wild experience for her. You can hear the wind now. We're driving into the wind. Listen to this here. I mean, it's just a constant buffeting against the, the Jeep, which again is not unusual. We're basically driving around in a, a square box. I mean, you, you expect that, right? Jeeps aren't really known for their aerodynamics, so there's nothing shocking about that. But I'm curious, what if Jeep came out with something more aerodynamic, not so square, still enough of the, the current design that obviously it would be a Jeep, but maybe more curved surfaces. Maybe they've already done that. Maybe that was one of those Jeep iterations that nobody liked, including me. I can't recall the names of them right now. You can probably leave a comment and let me know. But uh, what if they came out with something that was a little bit closer uh, to what the, the square look, I guess, of the Jeep Wrangler is, but had a little bit more curvature in it so that maybe it cut through the air a little bit better and gave us just a couple more miles per gallon or something. You know, something a little bit more respectable than what we get right now. Honestly, I think that uh, most people probably wouldn't buy it. Uh, the people that are the traditionalists would probably go crazy if Jeep did something like that, particularly if they they did it to the Wrangler and did not offer the same Wrangler body style that we have now. I can just imagine the uproar. I'll probably get it just even mentioning it in a video like this. But after driving around out here right now, again, we're having 30 to 35 mile an hour sustained winds with gusts somewhere 55 to 60, 65, I believe. I haven't experienced that today while I've been out, at least not that I've been able to feel. So. I, maybe not a good gauge for something that high. But I can say that driving out in the open, like out in the country where we just were, not really a big deal. Matter of fact, I think the, the biggest concern here when it gets windy like this are wildfires. You know, if you happen to have a thunderstorm or lightning, that's even worse because that of course can spark a fire and then you have these big winds. We don't have that down here where I am, but I believe they are having storms further north up in Texas, so that's probably a concern. Of course, the other concern is people. You know, people starting fires by throwing their butts out the window or lawn mowing. You know, lawn mowing can hit a rock, create a spark. I've heard of it happening. Create a spark and start a fire as well. And then you have a wildfire because with winds like we've got right now, it just fans those flames and man, they spread like wildfire. Anyway, I just wanted to take a cruise with you guys since mother nature provided us this uh, high wind opportunity just to see how horrible the Jeep Wrangler is in the wind. And gotta say, it's not too bad. Leave a comment. Let me know if, uh, if you ever notice such things or eh, it's just another day, little wind, no big deal. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.